similar rally was held in Lancaster, California. Here's Love Esteban Diaz. We are here today at American Heroes Park in Lancaster, California, which is the location of one of the 800 sibling marches organized by students nationwide and one of 845 rallies worldwide. On February 14, 2018, a 19-year-old lone gunman entered the campus of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida during a typical school day and randomly gunned down students and teachers, killing 17 and injuring many more. Among the weapons the gunman had in his arsenal was an AR-15, an assault-style military-grade weapon, which is also the weapon of choice used in mass shootings in the U.S., including the Las Vegas concert shooting earlier in the year. And gun violence! Unlike prior school mass shootings, this event marked a tipping point with regards to public tolerance for these kinds of tragedies and public dissatisfaction with the reaction of several public officials who mostly refused to take any action on regulating public access to these kinds of events. I'm Sasha, I'm from Eastside High School and I'm in 11th grade. So for Eastside High School, what have you done so far? I've written to the AP Press, I've led a walkout at school, I've been published in uh, with interviews and stuff, I've been on multiple uh, websites, um, I've done as much as I can to say that we want safer schools. Well, I'm usually the student who sits back and I'm quiet in class, but lately I've been tired of being silent and I'm here saying that like enough is enough and I'm here to raise my voice and people are going to hear me. What message do you want to send to Congress and to the public in general? I want them to know that we are teenagers, we have voices, they're going to hear us and we're going to make a change because we're done saying, we're done being afraid to be at school, we're done fearing for our lives. So what do you expect this much to bring back? I expect so many people to vote, so many people to vote for uh, gun regulations, to raise their voices, to not be afraid to make a change. And critics of this movement, especially the National Rifle Association, have said the goal of this movement is to take people's guns away. Or in other words, to regulate public access to any kinds of guns and to eventually repeal gun ownership rights as guaranteed by the Second Amendment. What do you say to that? What is your response to their concern? So many other countries have gun regulations, they have background checks, and they haven't had as many mass shootings as we have. This is Love Esteban Sanchez reporting from EDC Los Angeles, and I am one with 20.